Uh, university campus, some 200 kilometers from the Somali border, have triggered a major military response from the Kenyan government. A $281,000 reward has been offered for alleged Al Shabaab commander Mohamed Mohamed, a former Kenyan teacher said to be the mastermind behind the attack. Well, in the studio with us, we've got Dr. Alfredo Hengari, a researcher and political analyst from the South African Institute of International Affairs. Uh, it's very good to have you. Thank you very much for joining you, us on the you. program. What's going on in Kenya? Why are they experiencing these attacks? Well, I think it has to do uh, largely with uh, the politics of the Horn, a very difficult geography with uh, Somalia having exploded in the 1990s. And also from 2006 to 2009, uh, there was a very strong uh, uh, Ethiopian involvement trying to decimate uh, al-Shabaab, which was essentially an offspring of the United Islamic Court. So ever since uh, 2009, uh, the countries of that region have not been safe because uh, by virtue of, of its size, uh, al-Shabaab and its mobility has been a, a potent threat in that part of the world. Yeah, indeed. Relations between Kenya and Somalia, is this also one of the issues at the center of what's going on, and particularly behind this Garissa attack? Well, it's not really the relations between Somalia and Kenya per se, because uh, relations between Somalia and Kenya are at present pretty good. Uh, with uh, a UN backed government in Mogadishu. The key challenge face we, are, we are facing there is essentially the, the domestication of Al Shabaab on, on, on Kenyan soil. Now, when we look at one of the attackers, it's actually a law graduate from the same institution that was attacked. Um, and the Al Shabaab commander with a price on his head is former Kenyan teacher. Is there a specific dynamic in this particular attack? Well, this has been coming on for a while now. Uh, since 2011, ever since uh, the Kenyan Defense Forces became militarily involved in Somalia, around 135 similar, uh, not similar in scale, but attacks by Al Shabaab have been carried out on Kenyan soil. So this is not new. This is essentially possibly the intensi intensification of, uh, of, uh, of, of an Islamic terror threat that has been on Kenyan soil for a while now. Yeah, yeah. If we. If we look at, at, at um, protection and military presence within Kenya, do you think this is possibly one of the reasons that, that, that there is instability, that there isn't enough presence uh, when it comes to law enforcement there? Well, Kenya is a, is a country that observes a, a rule of law. Uh, what you do have is essentially a terror threat, uh, with the government clearly being unable to deal with, uh, uh, with it in a manner that is decisive. But there has been a lot of uh, international support for Kenya in the war against terror. Kenya is a very strong ally now of the United States, uh, also of Ethiopia when it comes to the war on terror in the, in the Horn of Africa. But I mean, you look at Ethiopia and they have not had um, the, the scale of attacks that we're seeing happening in Kenya. Um, because, again, I, I, I come back to the issue of, of having a large scale military presence. Could this be the reason that Ethiopia has not fallen victim to these military attacks? I mean, to these terrorism attacks? Well, two reasons in my view. The first one is geography. Uh, Al Shabaab is largely present in the southern part of, uh, of Somalia, which uh, uh, borders the, the, the northern and as well as the eastern borders of, uh, of, of Kenya. So I think to a certain degree, Ethiopia is insulated from those type of attacks where uh, Al Shabaab militants cross the border into, uh, in, into Ethiopia and, and carried out these type of attacks. Two, uh, Ethiopia has a much stronger counterintelligence service. And also its military is much stronger. So I think there, there are some uh, 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 um, interesting, uh, uh, in, in, interesting elements around uh, the Ethiopian uh, 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 intelligence and, and defense forces that potentially have been keeping Al Shabaab at bay in, yeah. on, on, on its soil. Well, well, perhaps I mean, if we look at that, would that not be again another solution for Kenya? Is bringing in a stronger military presence? I, I again reiterate that question. Uh, perhaps I'm harping on it too much, but I know that there has been views spoken about that if there was a bigger security presence at these universities, we wouldn't have seen attacks on the scale of Garissa happening. Well, it is true. Uh, yeah. It has been uh, uh, noted, uh, and it has also been mentioned in the Kenyan press that uh, uh, the government of Uhuru Kenya has been quite lax when it comes to reinforcing a uh, 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 security presence at some of these key installations. Uh, that is, that is uh, one of the issues I think that uh, the Uhuru government would be working uh, on quite closely forward. But I think the, the, the challenge with 
uh, 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 terrorist organizations like Al Shabaab. They can strike at any moment. Yeah. We should not forget that last year on the 23rd of November, they took out uh, uh, about 20, 23 civilians who were just on a mini bus in, yeah. in, the, in, 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 in Mandera County. So it's very difficult at times to, to deal with uh, that type of terror threat, especially when it has been domesticated because Al Shabaab now is recruiting locally. Mm. Uh, ordinary Kenyans who are not necessarily Somalis uh, who speak Kiswahili. It's using those type of, uh, of uh, 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 that type of propaganda to further recruit uh, 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 Kenyans who are not Somali. Indeed, and let's not forget the mall attack as well, because that was another one of those, those senseless killings that took place in Kenya. I'm going to ask you a question uh, after the break about um, uh, President Kenyatta's response to all of this, which I think is also one of those important issues we need to look at, especially after the Nigerian elections, and good luck, Jonathan. But uh, if you can just hang 10, we'll be with you after this. Stay tuned. Thank you.